Yo, what's up everybody? It's Buttermy coming back at you with a TBL team builder, but this time it's for the semi-finals of the Twitch Battle League. Now, I know you're all thinking, you're wondering, didn't we just watch you get eliminated in the TBL uh, quarterfinals a couple weeks ago? And yes, you did, but I'm not using my team for this battle. You see, the guy that beat me, Shen, he acts, he got injured in a car accident, and thankfully he's recovering well, but he got injured in a car accident, so in order to not delay the league even further, he asked Godoa Dragon, who's the GOAT, uh, if he could have another coach take over his place, and since I was the one who had yet to play uh, Playmaker, who's my opponent in the playoffs, and I was in the same conference, the team fell to me to take over, and I was like, sure, I'm definitely going to take it over. And so, now here we are in the semifinals, and we're looking for some redemption. Like, this is, this is our redemption arc. This is our second shot. This is our chance to blow. Don't miss this opportunity, yo. <laughs> so, as you can see, my opponent is Playmaker, and his Atlanta Raichus, and he has a threatening team, a very terrifying team of Landorus Therian, Sylveon, Umbreon, Decidueye, Regirock, Electabuzz, Mega Charizard X, Jirachi, Araquanid, Seismitoad, and Durant. And now all of these are scary, besides like the Regirock, I don't fear no Regirock, but everything else on this team is pretty dang terrifying. But I'm about to show you the six we are bringing in to take down Playmaker. So, our first set is right here. We have Painbow, the Necrozma, with the Rocky Helmet, rocking the moves Photon Geyser, Moonlight, Thunder Wave, and Stealth Rock. Now, we have max HP, max defense, and a little bit in special defense. Just four in special defense is just to throw stuff in. But this set specifically is meant to handle both a Paraflinching Jirachi and a Mega Charizard X behind a sub. Because he never Okos me if he gets behind a sub, and Photon Geyser always breaks through. Moonlight is obviously for a cover, and Thunder Wave is if I can get him to attack me with the Charizard X without a sub, I paralyze him. If I can get through Paralysis with the Jirachi, I paralyze it and put it down more than it need, wants to be. Uh, basically, this thing, he has a lot of physical breakers on his team, so this is going to come in and it's just going to stop them dead in their tracks and be like, no, go back to where you came from, I'm done with you. So, that's our first member. Our second member of the team is Hail Hydra, the Hydreigon, carrying the Steelium Z with the moves Flash Cannon, U-Turn, Defog, and Dark Pulse. Uh, I'm running 204 speed with a Timid Nature, and that outspeeds, um, not Durant, that outspeeds his Landorus Therian uh, if he runs max speed Lando, which he definitely could, or he could run close to max speed. But this outspeeds his Landorus Therian. Um, Flash Cannon is to catch the Sylveon on the switch if he has that. U-turn is obviously for momentum. Defog, this, I know you see the Tornadus up there, but this is my Defogger this week. So I need to get this thing in on like an Araquanid, which almost certainly brings Sticky Webs with it. Because Sticky Webs just destroy my team. But if I bring this Defog, I Defog off, and I'm not locked into Defog, and I can, you know, U-turn, or I can choose a sack, or I can get momentum off of it. And then Dark Pulse is obviously, as you can see, his team. His team is fairly doesn't appreciate Dark Pulse. He has like two resists, and those are both of his eons. Like his team just Dark Spam is fairly viable against him, and so that's why I'm running this. And a Flash Cannon into a flat a Steelium Z should Oko a Sylveon that is not a plus special defense boosting nature, or isn't max special defense, which is really good because like. I don't think he switches wholesale into Hydreigon, like at least I wouldn't with the Sylveon, unless he runs like the Babiri Bear, in which case I U-turn out of there. But Sylveon, 
is the reason we are bringing this third mon, which is AW. Shout out to AW. Uh, he helped me build this team. Like a lot of this team, like um, uh, the um, Greninja set and the Tornado set were his ideas uh, when it comes to building. Uh, but this Agonite was completely mine. So we have AW, the Mega Agron, with Filter. It has the ability, it has moves Roar, Heavy Slam, Counter, and Toxic. Now, Toxic on this thing, specifically for the Umbreon. Only for the Umbreon. 120% of the time for the Umbreon. And that's because with Mega Agron being ground, Steel type, it can freely Toxic the Umbreon and not worry about the consequences of uh, synthesize or synchronize, synchronize, yeah. Uh, Roar is because he's almost certainly bringing sub because I have a ditto that, as you can see, I'm not bringing, but I have a ditto that I could bring. So Charizard X behind a sub is immune to the effects of ditto. So, and plus, like when you see Omega Agron, you almost immediately think your opponent's gonna switch if you have a Charizard X. So he can try and go for like a Dragon Dance or something, and I can roll him out. Heavy Slam, obviously it just hits a lot of his team really hard. Um, it's coming from a fat as fuck Mon, so it's gonna hit pretty big damage. Then Counter is if he goes for an Earthquake or a Flare Blitz with Lando T or Charizard X respectively, I eat it, both of them die all the time, no chance of survival, everything's dropping. So that is my Mega Agron set. Then we have Hurricane, the Tornadus, rocking the Expert Belt with Defiant. And now I know you're wondering, I see Taunt on there. Why am I not running Prankster? And that is very simple. Umbreon. I do not... I want to be able to Taunt Umbreon, and if I have Prankster, he can freely switch into Umbreon, and bam, he's Taunt Booth. Nothing I can do about that. So I have... On this set, I have Heat Wave. I originally had HP Ice, but in my mock was Seda, who also had, was a big help with this team. Thank you. Uh, Jirachi was his switch into this a lot of the time, and an expert belt Heat Wave, while it doesn't Oko, it chips down that Jirachi really quickly, which is great. And he usually likes to bring uh, Thunder Wave Iron Head Jirachi for that Parafletch, so that's why I'm bringing Taunt. Because, like, He'll click Thunder Wave, but I can click Taunt, and I, I naturally outspeed anybody. Because I've made sure to EV to outspeed a max speed Jolly Jirachi. Uh, then I have U-Turn for the good momentum. And then Air Slash, because it hits a lot of his team. Uh, it's specifically super effective against the Arachnid. It does like 78 to 88% or something. And then, you know, it hits the Decidueye. It hits the Charizard. It hits a lot of his team for neutral damage, and it, it's coming off of, you know, a decent 125 special attack stat. It even has a chance after a layer of spikes or stealth rocks to Oko Durant, like a 68% chance, which is just crazy. And now we're going to get into my two win conditions this game, or specifically my one win condition, and that is Edu Brutus, the shiny Ember. Now we are the reckless ability with the expert belt. We are carrying flame charge, with enough speed EVs to at plus one outspeed a Durant creep to outspeed a Hydreigon. So if he runs max speed Durant, if he brings Durant, which he probably won't, we have enough speed at plus one if we get a flame charge off where we instantly have speed. And an expert belt flame charge from a max attack Adamant Imbor kills Durant 100% of the time without fail. Then we have Earthquake, because it hits the Charizard, that's extremely hard. It hits the Jirachi really hard. We have Wild Charge, because I don't want to be seeing no Araquanids in my face. Araquanid can leave right now, Wild Charges, four days on that thing. And then we have, finally, in our last slot, we have Superpower, which is mainly for the Umbreon, because, well, Umbreon is an asshole, and screw that thing. And then obviously we just do the rest in HP. Uh, help me live a Psy Shock from a plus one Sylveon in our mock, so that was really good. Appreciate that, Embor. Do your good work. So that is our Embor set, and this thing comes in late game, gets a flame charge off, decimates his team. Nothing wants to take this 
from a 123 attack stat, max attack Adam and Imbo. It is just going to run house on him. And then finally, we have Fortnite, our Protein Greninja. That's right, we're rocking out Protein this time instead of that wimpy old uh, torrent that we had in our normal Greninja. Rocking the Focus Sash with Spikes because Chip on his team is super important. Like, you do not know how important Chip on his team is with stuff like Jirachi and Charizard X. Excuse me. Stuff like that. His only uh, ground immunity is Landorus T, so everything else is taking, you know, Chip. Which is the same reason, you know, I have Stealth Rocks over here on Painbow, because, like, stuff like the Araquanid or even the Lando T don't want to switch into Stealth Rocks repeatedly. And like I said, Flame Charge kills at... Af oh, sorry. Um, Air Slash kills after Stealth Rocks damage from Durant, so that's great. Uh, we also have U-Turn, like I said previously, just for that momentum, which is nice. Uh, then we have Dark Pulse, as mentioned earlier, and we have Surf. Now, we originally had Water Shuriken, but in order to reliably get anything out of it, we had to run Mystic Water, and we just thought Sash was better. So we ran Surf, which still breaks the sub of any Charizard. Like, if he's 252 HP, sub still gone, which is absolutely amazing. And this thing, uh, even when it's not resisted, I believe, lives a Fire Punch with the 44 EVs from a Charizard X. Obviously not going to live a Flare Blitz very well, but it can definitely chew a Fire Punch. Now, I know that was quick, but really that's what this team is. It's, uh... It's gonna need, I need to wear him down, I need to get Imbor in in the right position, and then I can basically just tear his team apart from there. Like, this is gonna be, I think it's gonna be a really fun match, and like again, I said I'd like to thank AW and Seda for helping me prep for it, and uh, battle should be up pretty, like at least only about one or two days after this uh, game itself goes up, so I hope you all enjoy that, you enjoy this. Um, and I am Buttermink. It's been great talking to all you bright, lovely people. And I will see you with our battle video. Bye!